the first problem, bike doesn't switch on anymore. Good morning, Huawei people. It's 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm almost ready to go to north of Vietnam. My backpacks are kind of packed. This one will go on the back side of the motorbike. This will be on my back. Not sure what will happen, not sure how it will end up, but let's hope for best. I'll show you how it will look as a setup on the bike. Setup will look something like that. Here we have a holder, mirrors, the backpack I attached with two bungee cords. Wish me luck guys, I hope everything's still be fine. We are ready to hit the road. So, having just a quick pit stop for like a couple of minutes. So far so good. Everything's pretty steady right now. We already starting to get some cool views. Rocky foundation shaped mountains with a lot of rice and as always some people working in a rice field. Guards the bike which is just here. So far, so good. I'm seeing that the back rack is shaking just a little bit, so probably need to check every day if it's not getting like loose, because I guess or it's screwed or it's welded. I would say the thing is, no, they so strong, they driving like crazy. The bike itself, doesn't feel so powerful but it's all right i mean i'm not driving as fast as i could just need to get used to it but yeah just look at this view guys so finally we're starting to see the real vietnam with the real culture nature and um, proper locals we're gonna go up there see there's some rice field workers today we need to drive around 150 kilometers until first stop where we're gonna go to have a lunch not gonna stop that's in the middle between hanoi and north there is some lakes but guys who sold me the bike they told me like there's not a big point to stop by those lakes so like not really worth it so we are not gonna do that we will go straight away to north all right time to go again see you in a bit making a little pit stop yeah say hello <laughs> first 100 kilometers are done what's the name of this city City. Huh? Port Anhua. Anhua. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anhua. So we are in a city, Anhua, having, as always, soup with uh, beef, which I will eat probably for the next month at least. And. Vietnam. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got the first problem. Uh, I stopped to drink some water and the bike doesn't switch on anymore. So I have no idea what to do right now. Huh? My free mind. Yeah, yeah. Something is wrong. It doesn't switch on. Let me try. Sparkle. First day on the road and straight issues. Damn. Problem is, they don't understand any English. Nothing at all. Which is bad. I look like that's not a sparkle. He have no idea so. And me neither. Trip didn't start it in the right way for sure. I have no idea. That's for me, I guess. Apparently there is a problem with an engine on the first day. What a luck. We just arrived to somewhere again. Some other shop. The issue found this how it should look quite straight and this one is bending. I mean, I don't really believe them much. They said that's because of the weather. It might be true, because the engine didn't work for a long time, and then I made it like push for a few hours, so it might bend for some reason. And I've been just asked if I'm married, <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying I'm not ripping you. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how much they will charge me. Let's see, let's see.
Okay. So that was the problem, yeah? Yeah, I'll need to ask a couple of questions like what should I keep an eye on? That's how I look on my bike. Look at him. Let's hope everything will be fine. Thank you to you. Thank you. Yes. All right. <laughs> That's my progress. Boys. Hey. Goodbye. Bye. All right, guys, this starts to be a disaster. We have another problem. I just made a stop after 60 kilometers, and now guess what? We have an oil leak. Here we go. Stop my bike for a minute, and that's how much oil went away somewhere from this part. I don't know. It doesn't, it's not sealed properly or something. I have no idea. Try to find another mechanic right now. If it will be like that every single day, I'll just give up. I'll just throw this bike from the bridge and go back to, I don't know, Bali or Thailand. It just it looks like Vietnam doesn't want me anymore here. But then, when pigs need to wipe it, so when I come, some hazang, I see if it leaks or not. Yes? Not giving up right now, no. So I see you in a bit. Oh yes, we made it. We made it to Hazan. I mean, uh, the screen is a bit broken. We made almost 300 kilometers today with two breakdowns. Like, okay, it was one breakdown and another one oil leak. So what he did here, he put a silicone with the ceiling together. And looks like I did 50 kilometers. Looks like there is no oil leak right now. So it should be fine, I guess. So what do we have? here in surroundings uh, there's some river I have no idea which one I guess from here that's where the proper views will start I just booked just here right now I booked some room in the name of it is Lila Inn yeah it shows eight minutes that's a room like just a budget room for four US dollars I hope there will be no more breakdowns at least for now please my friend please the sunset is coming. Cars are driving. Screen is broken. And the road is dusty. So. You have a special camera. Huh? You have a special camera. Yeah, thank you. Well, with the uh, <laughs> I say. Uh, oh, I see what do you cook. Come with. Yeah. Just arrived. To. We were in. But overall, Hazan is busy? Or? Uh, it's, uh, now it's not, not um, high season. Yeah, not high season. But I still, when I pass right now, I have seen like... Many uh, tourists? But maybe big, big group, maybe. Ah, uh, big group, uh, yeah, they probably. return from the list. Look at me now, look at me now. So, we are in a room for... Four... Four US dollars. Man, that's insane. We even have an aircon, aircon. Man, two beds, two men. What a bad thing, man. Four US dollars. We are changing the plans a little bit. I met one guy who I have seen in Hanoi, like randomly on the street, and I was just like, hey, dude, I have seen you in Hanoi a couple of days ago. He's like, yeah, I was there. Like, so just gonna go and grab a couple of beers and talk about the um, Hazan loop maybe we will actually go together which will be a win-win situation because if something happens on the road you will have your mate on the side which is good I just came back to my room we figured out everything with Elvin that's a Kyrgyzian German who lives in German you serious? tomorrow we are heading together towards Hazan loop the day ended up pretty well I hope bike will switch on tomorrow don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video and if you will leave comment down below i'll probably not gonna have any more breakdowns so i hope for you guys see you guys tomorrow